Hi guys, let's look at how you can create a simple project on password generator. This system will enable you to auto-generate passwords uh, when need be. So, like for example, we have the password that will be generated, then you have the date of generation. So, if for example, I hit on this one, you realize that uh, the system has produced a password so this is the password and if i go to new here then produce you will notice that the system has produced a different password so i can also go to new and also produce another password also hit on new again and also produce another password so guys after having done that i can cross this one and go to tables and you'll be in a position to see a uh, generated password so guys you realize that the system is automatically generating the password so i'll be taking you through how to uh, do such so basically what you're supposed to do uh, you create uh, a new database so you just go to new then database then here you can just call it automatic uh, 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 automatic password generator or yeah generator so after that I launch my system then we start by creating a table so I go to uh, table design then here we can have the serial number then this one is auto number and primary key then we shall have the password here the password is text then we shall have the date date of generation generation so date of generation we shall have date and time yeah we can have date and time and then we shall have default value here we shall have date uh, that is today's uh, date uh, today's date should be the the default value there that is for the for the that is for the default value so here you can just type equals to date that means that uh, the system will automatically uh, save today's date as default so I save this one you can just call it passwords like that so this is what we have so you, if I open this one you notice that automatically the system has uh, taken to this date so guys after doing that you go to the next step the next step is to uh, create a form so I just go to this point I want to use a model form then I remove this one so I don't need this then guys after having done that you need to come up here uh, you take a label here so this one will be the the that is the shall have the password the password then you shall have another label down here that is the date generated uh, generated then you can uh, have this ones with a bigger font like that so this is the date generated here i press control enter so that i can have that one then this one's i need to have it that way then guys after doing that i need to have a text box so i go to design then take the text box here remove the text box label i also uh, have another one here like that this is for the date alternatively instead of using the unbound just go to uh, design go to property sheet here then have the record source as passwords then guys save that one save that one then once you do that once you do that you have to save this one as uh, passwords then go to 
add existing list i add existing then have list two then have list two drag them here remove the label here so that you can have this one here this is uh, our text box this is now bound because it's getting data from the table so that is the date then here you can just give the, this ones you can give this ones a, a good font like that you can also have to change the color of this one to something like that so this is our system so after having done that one just want to rearrange these ones after having done that one you can add a button so i opt using a toggle button this is the toggle button so just draw the toggle button here and then type creek creek to generate to generate the passwords click to generate the passwords so also this ones this one you can also give it a good font so this is what we have then you can also opt to change the the buttons rook so i save this the next thing guys is to code you shall write a vba code for that basically the first code is that when the form roads it should it should road on a new record that is means the password will be blank and for that case you just hit this point then go to uh, go to property sheet the property sheet is found in the design then on creek sorry on form here should lead form on road what happens on road event on road event you shall have do cmd dot go to record then you put two commas and then new you choose this that means that uh, whenever the road uh, the form roads it will load on a new uh, that is on a new uh, record then the next thing guys is to click on this button then uh, go to properties down here properties go to properties or just hit properties here then go to this point this button is called uh, it's called togo 10 so on click what happens so you hit the three dots then type the code here so the code is dim here we are declaring the characters as string then we shall go dim ring that is the length of the the length of the password as integer that is numbers then dim password dim password as string the password will be string that is text then i as integer this one is a variable to increment then guys from here we shall define